A candidate for the Babylon Town Council bearing it all on the campaign trail, <laughs> literally. Here in the town of Babylon, you could say Kevin Sabella Sr. was the candidate with nothing to hide. Look, we've talked about a lot of deranged Republican Party politicians on this program before, but I'm just going to go out on a limb and say that this one probably takes the cake. Meet Kevin Sabella Sr., pictured here on the left with Republican Congressman Nick Lolita on the right. Kevin is a local politician running in the Babylon Town Council race in New York, and he has made supporting cops his campaign slogan and has the bold mission that states, this is a paragraph. Click on edit text or double click on the text box to start editing the content. Very inspiring. Now he's made it very clear that he's running for council and proudly displays his campaign sign in his front yard along with his dick. Yeah. I have long ago stopped trying to understand the behavior of some people and this is one of those instances where i just i don't get it now to be clear we're not talking about him one time forgetting that he has no clothes on while taking a peek out the front door he does this every day deliberately as the New York Post reports, Sabella, 63, a well-respected financial advisor, Knights of Columbus trustee, and a church council member at his local Catholic parish, began exposing himself about two months ago, according to Victoria Lombardi. He's done it at least 10 times, Lombardi claimed. Now keep in mind, this is the account from one person. The first person to really speak up and sound the alarm, but odds are many people have seen this man's junk because he stands there for a while. Now, Lombardi is the 30-year-old woman who was cited in the article, but she's the one who originally sounded the alarm about this on Facebook using a pseudonym saying that it's been going on for several weeks and claims that every morning he would open the front door and expose his completely naked body. Now, she goes on to explain that the occurrences became even more frequent and he'd even wait for her van to drive by so he could flash her. And she was quoted by a local ABC News affiliate saying, Once we made eye contact and it happened a third time, I knew that it was intentional. And it is. Now, she took a video, and uh, this is the video that you're seeing right now. And as you can see, he also displays his name on his car. So this is incredibly deliberate. He very obviously wants everyone to know his name while he flashes them. But yet, he's running for local office. I mean, you've got to know that you're going to hurt your campaign. I mean, is he even thinking about this? Does the thrill just overpower the political ambitions? It's just genuinely perplexing. Now, I have read multiple articles in preparation for this story, and it's clear that they were all having a little bit too much fun with this story. For example, the New York Post writes, a Long Island political candidate who has pushed for transparency in government is certainly practicing what he preaches. There's more from ABC7, a local New York affiliate. In the town of Babylon, you could say Kevin Sabella Sr. is the candidate with nothing to hide. And they keep going. But but what they're saying, while clever, is actually true. This is a candidate who is doing this despite his history of political activism in his city. New York Post continues, Sabella frequently hobnobs with local political grandees like Representative Nick Lolita and Representative Andrew Garbarino. His campaign for Babylon Town Council has been endorsed by both Babylon GOP Chairman Joe Barone as well as Suffolk County Republican Party boss Jesse Garcia. The pair even headlined a fundraiser and campaign kickoff party for him just days after Lombardi filmed her video. Sabella ran unsuccessfully for Babylon Town Council in 2021. Sabella's son, Kevin Sabella Jr., is also active in Republican politics in Long Island and was the party's nominee for a central Long Island State Assembly seat in 2018. The younger Sabella also works with his father at New York Life. Yeah, so it begs the question, does the son know? I'm assuming he doesn't know, um, but it's just very, very... Bizarre. I don't know how else to describe this situation. Now, at the time that I record this video, he still has not spoken to the press. In fact, when a New York Post reporter went to his home on Saturday to ask him about this, he refused to answer their questions. And on top of that, again, at the time that I record this video, subject to change, of course, he still has not suspended his campaign. I mean, at this point, you kind of have no choice because he possibly committed a crime here. So it's not just scandalous and inappropriate, but this is potential 
criminal activity here. So, of course, he needs to suspend his campaign. But when you have politicians like Donald Trump at the tippy top of this party running after being indicted multiple times and still refusing to step down, I mean, it kind of sets the stage for the rest of the party, even at the local level. Although I will say that, to their credit, local Republicans have disavowed his campaign and residents are also speaking up. Here's the details from ABC News 7. Late today, Babylon's Republican committee telling us they'll no longer support Sabella Sr. in his run. We tried multiple ways to contact the candidate to see if he'll in fact withdraw from the race. Certainly residents in town have plenty to say about it. He definitely won't get my vote, that's for sure. It's shocking and it's scary. It's very inappropriate and he very clearly knew what he was doing. My concern would be that if he would ever get be uh, elected uh, to the town board, I don't know what we would be able to trust him with. Yeah, so there you have it. Another day, another Republican politician letting their freak flag fly. It'd be curious to know how he would respond or if he tries to defend himself because it really seems indefensible. And odds are now that one person spoke up, others are going to share their experiences as well. I mean, I would imagine that the neighbors have noticed this since it's such a common phenomenon. But either way, very, very bizarre, but not necessarily out of the realm of uh, Republican Party weirdness because, I mean... Look at them. I feel like when you have a party that attracts clowns like this, this type of behavior isn't necessarily that surprising. Penis and balls, vagina. Penis and balls, vagina. P-word and balls, vagina. P-word and balls, vagina. Ass, gum. Ass, gum. Ass, gum. Vagina. She stroked my face with the vagina. She stroked my penis and balls. 